Hey, it's Seth Green here. Welcome to Fix My Direct Mail, January 8th, 2020. Happy New Year. Happy New Decade. We are super excited to have you all here. Um, now, the way, if you're new, the way Fix My Direct Mail works is if you send in a direct mail piece to us at 5888 Main Street, Williamsville, New York, 14221, or if you email it in, Seth at marketdominationprogram.com, and we review it on air, you'll be entered to win a three-night, four-day vacation in Orlando or Las Vegas. Um, you have to get yourself there. You got to fly or drive or go there and feed yourself, obviously. But I will pay for the hotel stay. You got to pay taxes. It's a gift. But I will pay for the hotel stay in our five-star resort for you. So you get a chance to win a free vacation, and you get a chance to get us to help you improve your direct mail. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Dale. Thanks for joining us. All right. We're going to dive right in and start going through people's direct mail. Our first entry is for the good folks at Spectrum, your cable and internet service provider, depending on where you are in the country. All right. So we'll go through some lessons here. So first things first, if you use a winter, um, and I learned this from Gary Halbert many, many, almost two decades ago, um, was one of the top copywriters of all time. And he said, you, America sorts their mail over a wastebasket, right? If you think about it, when you get home and you get the stack of mail, if you're at work and you get the stack of mail, you sort it over a wastebasket and stuff gets chucked right away. Um, so there's A pile mail and B pile mail and C pile mail. Um, a pile mail is looks or is personal holiday card that my wife puts every single person who sends us a holiday card every friend that goes up on the fridge or all around our kitchen so that's personal a letter from a friend a card from mom that's personal it gets saved immediately um bills would be filed but those would, would not get thrown out b pile mail is stuff you're gonna get to so it might be a catalog from your favorite re retailer or something like that um c would be total junk that you just throw away without even opening so one of the things Gary Halbert used to say, um, he used to teach many things, but one of the things is if, when, if you can try and show up in the A pile, if you can sneak up congruently, that's a much better strategy. If you're going to be identified as commercial mail, junk mail, something they didn't ask for um, right off the bat, then don't get a little bit pregnant. So if you use a window envelope like Spectrum did here, it's a dead giveaway that's commercial email, right? Because you would never send a personal letter Grandma would never send you a holiday letter in a window envelope. Only businesses do that. Um, so if you're going to do a dead giveaway that it's commercial, you might as well print on both sides of the envelope. Right? I'll give you... So this is... You know what? Oh, man. Where is it? Um, do I have one? Aha! I do. All right. So we're doing this for a client right now. And this is an example of trying to sneak up. So this, I'm going to cover up his return address. It says x-ray film, do not bend. And it's from a doctor. So you immediately think they're your x-rays. Even if you don't necessarily recognize the doctor name, hey, Tim, you will immediately open it because it's x-rays, right? And then when they open it, there actually is an x-ray. It's a fake x-ray. New year, new smile. In this case, it's an orthodontist. Um, and then there is a prescription from him and then there's the sales letter. So we snuck up by saying x-rays, but we didn't lie. There are actual, <laughs> there's an actual x-ray and it's congruent because it's coming from an orthodontist. So Spectrum, boo, you did not print on either side of the envelope, dead giveaway. However, they did some stuff right. There is what we call a lift note. So this is separate than the main envelope. Oh, it looks like it's legal pad paper, but it's like cardstock. And it's supposed to look handwritten. And it says, hey, Aaron, hey, Nathan. It says, I've tried to reach you a few times. Please give me a call. My business card is enclosed. Andrew, but his number isn't. Is his business card enclosed? We're going to find out. It is. How about that? Andrew's card is enclosed. Oh, boo, Andrew, this isn't his business card. It says to speak with one of my service specialists, call this 8 and 100 number. Oh, man, see if it had Andrew's direct number, then you got something there. Um, contact me about doubling your internet speed at the same low price. Okay, so I'm already a client of Spectrum's. 
So I'm a little confused as to, they're going to buy out my contract, but my contract's with them. So they obviously, they sent, so this is obviously not directed to me because they, it's, they just send it like every business direct, they send it to everybody because they should have cross-checked the list, Boo Spectrum, know that I am a client and not offer to buy me out of a contract I already have with them. So, Boo Spectrum, you did not win today. Uh, let's see here, we got something, um, our community update from our senator. Uh, so this is his newsletter, look at that. Uh, pictures of him being out in the community, what, his, what he's doing, bills that you should vote on. Look at that. A little newsletter. Good job, Mike Ranzenhofer. Uh, that's really, I have never seen a local politician do a newsletter. That's really smart. Now, the question is going to be, does he say, this 2019 community update, does he send one a year? I would say send it every month. And there's no call to action. He's not asking. He didn't. I don't know if this has obviously got to be warm and fuzzy because he didn't ask for any money. Uh, there's a little, little picture of Sweet Chevy's. Oh, look at that. Uh, Amherst Library. Look at that. Good job, Mike Ranzenhofer. All right. I'm impressed. Politician sending a newsletter. Our good friends at the Danbury Mint who say, do not bend photos enclosed. Hey, Brad. Hey, Aaron. Let's see if. I'm waving at every, trying to wave at everybody. Um, let's see if, hey, Elena. All right, so let's see if photos enclosed do not bend, if there actually are photos enclosed, because they didn't print on the rest of the envelope. Oh, look at that. Um, they did it. Ha ha. Oh, I hope my wife is not watching right now because it's jewelry. Um, there's a picture of the jewelry. There's a picture of the hot mo I mean the model. Not hot, not hot, not hot at all. The model wearing the jewelry. Other people are supposed to think she's hot. Honey, she's not hot. Um, it would look way better on you. And then there's a letter. Oh, boo, Danbury Minute It says, dear friend, I'm a customer. They know they personalized the letter in the return envelope they personalized. They could have said, dear Seth. Uh, sumptuous presentation. It's a velvet pouch. Pearl and diamond necklace. Buy now. You can even split it into three monthly payments. It's only a hundred bucks. Um, I'm not sure what pendant is shown. Approximately actual size. Not actual size. Approximate actual size. That's kind of like an oxymoron or something, right? Um, I'm guessing that's like tiny. Um, like very small. And I'm wondering, I don't, I don't think you're worried about cut, color, clarity, or carrots of those tiny little diamonds or any of that stuff, considering it's only a hundred bucks. All right. But here we are. Okay. So I like that they were congruent with photos and clothes. Do not bend. And they had pictures. Um, they could have printed on the backs. Free real estate. I like the letter. Give her a gift as beautiful as she is. A glow with dazzling diamonds. I like that they personalize the reply form and you don't even have to pay. You just send it back and then they send you a bill. Uh, so not too shabby, Dan Berry Mints. Not too shabby. They're usually pretty smart marketers. Uh-oh. Um, is a postcard from a uh, dentist with Jim Kelly, NFL legend, Jim Kelly from the Buffalo Bills here in Buffalo. Um, unhappy with your smile, missing teeth, can't eat the food you like, previous bad dental experiences, afraid of the dentist, loose dentures, missing teeth, not sure, afraid. So they've got one, two, three, four, are those like eight, four different offers? No fear, no worry, no pain. The, oh, the Jim Kelly quote is call my team for your free consultation. Uh, so they should have said like, call my dental team. I know that's what it's supposed to mean. Hey, Brad. Um, but it's not the bills. And then on the back, I love that they've got a picture of him in between the dentists and they have multiple options under one roof and they list five of those. So there's like nine, 10 different offers. So boo, um, I would do one a month for nine months and make the whole postcard loose dentures. And then the next one would be missing teeth and have a picture of a guy missing teeth. 
And the next one, I mean, I would have one postcard on each one for nine months in a row. And I would tell, I would bet you that you would have a much better result. All right. What have we got? Oh, it's our good friend, Joel Osteen. Believe and receive in 2020. It's your year. See every two weeks. This is the, what do you want God to do for you? Discover the father's heart for you inside. So every two weeks, Joel sends a brand. Once a month, you get a branded envelope, a bigger package. And then you get a number 10, the other half of the month that doesn't have his picture on the outside. But they're smart and they're testing seeing which ones I respond to. And if I am correct, which I am, it will follow the same format every single time, regardless of the envelope. There is a four page, yep, four page sales letter. There is a flyer showing you what your choices are of what you're gonna get. You donate anything, you get the CD download or the download. Um, this time it's got a reply thingy and yep, uh, you get the 20 day audio devotional and journal for anything. Or if you donate 125 bucks, you get a Bible and a basket. Bible and a basket, just get in a tasket. All right. Um, I haven't bought anything from Joel in a while, but he's still dripping. I bought something probably at the beginning of last year, but I'm still on the list and they're still dripping. I may have to just buy something, donate, just, just make sure I stay on the list. All right. All right, um, that is our direct mail for today. So uh, we did Westermeyer, we did Danbury Mint, we did Joel Osteen, we did Spectrum. Um, so I don't have an individual person I can send a free vacation to. Um, I would, I mean, Danbury Mint and Joel did the best, but they're giant companies. So I'll tell you what, we'll roll the prize over till next week because I don't have anybody to give it to. So send me your direct mail so that we can give you a free vacation. 